In a quiet residential street in West London, armed police are searching for a man suspected of murder. Residents were awoken by shouts and bangs and watched as a 44-year-old man was led away. One of them told us what he'd seen. Around one or half one in the morning where I heard um, a, a, a huge bash. Presumably it was the police with um, the battering ram opening, opening the door of uh, the, the, the resident opposite. Um, and they just burst in with loads of guns, loads of like huge firearms, um, you know, riot gear. This morning, police in forensic suits combed through the property in an investigation that they described as progressing at pace. The officer leading the investigation said the arrest was a result of CCTV images shared on Wednesday of a man police urgently wanted to identify. It's thought Mr O'Halloran was stabbed in broad daylight on Tuesday. He managed to drive his mobility scooter 70 metres or so to this street where he flagged a passerby for help. But tragically, nothing could be done to save his life. A popular local figure, floral tributes to Mr O'Halloran were laid outside the supermarket where he used to play his accordion to raise money for charity, most recently for the war in Ukraine. London Mayor Sadiq Khan visited the local police station to be briefed on the investigation. I can understand why all the Londoners are, are, are scared. Uh, you know, it's really important uh, that uh, at the community meeting tonight the police give the reassurance uh, they, they will be given uh, to those who are elderly. Uh, it's really important uh, that there are additional police officers that will be you know, policing this area over the next few uh, days. That's an opportunity for somebody with information to give that to the uh, police. Mr O'Halloran's death launched the sixth murder investigation in just four days in London, the latest tragic tale in a spate of summer violence across the capital. Matthew Thompson, Sky News.